We've done it. We've made it to the finale of X Men '97. I'm wearing the same outfit I wore a few episodes ago, and I'm self conscious. Is that just literally the same shirt? Uh, it was a red shirt. I don't remember if it's the same one. I have a lot of them, so it's funny. Yeah. See now, if I was wearing the same one, then they could all be so confused of how do we record the same thing in the same night when it wasn't released. Yeah, actually, we do time travel like Bishop and Cable. We're just that cool, you know. Uh, so yeah, let, let's see how they wrap this up. Here we go! Oh, that was all the adamantium! Shut up. <laughs> Evolution! Evolution. <laughs> how, how did it, what a lovely this dance. This music. Sounds about right. It's so anime. Yeah, well I ask you please. And you said no. Okay. So sucks to suck, right, doesn't it? Yeah, they all died. Yeah, they all blew up in space. Silver <laughs> Why is Silver Samurai just like watching? It's just been standing there for three days. What, squinting his eyes. Yes. See, Daredevil didn't notice the difference because. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fashion's like the villain in The Incredibles Syndrome. He, put, he keeps putting people in that same thing that Syndrome put Mr. Incredible in. Where they like, nah. yeah, so fashion is just syndrome for the Incredibles. <laughs> I hope by the end, someone just like says to Bastion, like, hey, your whole like evolution spiel is, it, it makes no sense. So just like, stop talking, please. Can <laughs> you just stop talking? Can you stop breathing? <laughs> oh wait, you can't breathe because you're a robot. <laughs> now I gotta kill him because you know, they'll kill Gambit. They just won't kill He's him. He's not dead. That it's gonna come back at the very end. He's probably gonna be evil or something. No. Yeah. No. They're gonna. They got it. This is X Men. We gotta have more drama. Do you remember when the? Wait, who was it? The the Sentinels all went into the sun. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember was that. that Sky. Yeah, he was like, uh, because it was like your your primary. Like directive is to protect humans, but like mutants are humans. Yeah. And like, and so they were just like, well, guess time to find. I I hope. <laughs> I desperately hope. Please. Please let this end with Bashir flying into the sun. Please. <laughs> just every all hell is bringing. Oh, it's Psylocke. That's me. That's me. What? What's she doing with Alpha Flight? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, oh. <laughs> Times got to say about my mom. Aww. Ah! <laughs> my feeling is exactly so Wait, because he was supposed to kill her earlier? Yeah. She like drowns. She should have said, I'm fire and life incarnate. That would have made it perfect. Did she say that the last time, though? What, in the original series? Yeah. I don't think so. I, I know they were calling back to that. She said it like the exact same way. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta do the whole thing. You know, hear me, X Men. I am no longer the woman you knew. I am fire and life incarnate. Now and forever, I am Phoenix. It's epic. Do you, do you get it? It's the Galapagos Islands because that's where Charles Darwin did his research about evolution. Ha ha. Now all he is is a bunch of spindly little spindles. Oh, ew. Ew. <laughs> yes. Oh, you want to be an X-Men now, Rogue? The car? <laughs> I love how it says his real name is Magneto. <laughs> That's his <laughs> AKA. <laughs> AKA. The real really name. <laughs> That's really hilarious. Magnus isn't even on there. No, it's not. Wait. Or his actual real name, which is Max Eisenhart. Marital, Marital status, status widow, widow, children, children Quicksilver, son, Scarlet Witch, daughter. Wow, I love how they- Polaris! Polaris, why, why is Polaris redacted? Because Polaris. <laughs> why? I don't know, man. I love how they list them by their code names, and it doesn't say like, you know, Pietro Maximoff, Wanda Maximoff, I know, Laura right? Dane. <laughs> Real name. Magneto. <laughs> Magneto protocol. Wow, they have a whole protocol. I mean, yeah. 
Dude's a raging maniac. I see, this is what I'm saying. He's what? like, nobody knows what it's like. Nobody suffered like I have. It's like, shut up. <laughs> have you ever heard the story of uh, St. Maximilian Kobe? Or like freaking Anne Frank? Frankenstein. <laughs> Yeah, there are millions of Jews. Like, you're not the only one. Like, okay, I'm not gonna trivialize his pain, okay? Like, it's bad. But also, he's not the only one. And I love it when the X-Men work together. And it isn't just Wolverine solving everyone's problems. Wolverine can't even do anything right now. Wolverine's it? dead. Can <laughs> you feel this music? <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. Wow. These Magneto fanboys. Magneto's gonna save the day? Really? From himself? This is all your fault. Oh, oh, okay. It was- you got halfway there. It's not enough panic in the voice. Exactly. I don't actually know Scott yelled that dramatically when he Yes, he did. Okay. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that was funny. To be continued. Yeah, but it's not dead. So, I guess what we were saying last episode about we don't know how they're gonna resolve all of this, the answer is that they didn't. Um, <laughs> well, basically they were like, yeah, Wolverine isn't just gonna die from this, it doesn't tear them all apart. Yeah. And Magneto's stab room means absolutely nothing. And no onslaught either, I guess. And lame, lame, you cowards do all. I thought they didn't know about onslaught for a while. Well, no, they didn't, but it was like he didn't, he didn't do the same thing to Magneto that he did. What did he do? He robotized him. I keep on forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not like desperate for an onslaught adaptation. I just I would like to see how they do onslaught. Nobody cares about onslaught. <laughs> I think it's interesting how like they're so adamant about making Magneto a part of the team. Like okay, listen, he this has been on the X Men before. You need to recognize, um, I am a Magneto hater. It's true. It's true. I I admit it. I fully admit it. And it's a personal thing. I just personally hate Magneto. I respect him as a character. However, <laughs> do you? <laughs> I respect what he means to the X Men. It's like I said, you know, two episodes ago. As a Magneto hater, that was cool. And I can respect their whole Magneto lives, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but like, I feel like the, whoever's in charge of this is a Magneto fanboy as much as I am a Magneto hater and I don't want Magneto to get the Wolverine treatment. So, uh, stop it. <laughs> but again, it's mostly a personal thing just because I personally don't like Magneto. Um, I'm sure people who like Magneto are loving this, but I don't. So I just have to learn to live with that, I guess. Um, I do appreciate, you know, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, the show has done a really good job of, like, juggling the different characters and, like, mm -hmm. giving them all their cool moments. Um, it's not just one of those situations where, like, a Wolverine's the only cool one or Magneto's the only cool one, you know, we, we get that for everybody, which I really like. Overall, loved it. It was great. It was really, really good. Uh, I think... Yeah, this is definitely the best X-Men thing since Evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's super different, <laughs> obviously, but yeah, it's like... The, I feel like this is, you know, the kind of adaptation <laughs> that people like have dreamed of <laughs> for years and that the movies never even came close, no. never came close to doing it as well. And so, yeah, I love, I love how the characters are portrayed, I love the action, I love the emotional weight between the characters. Now the Summers family, they're one, they're one screwed up family, and I appreciate that you're able to take uh, the screwed up family and like make it, you know, emotional and meaningful and everything. Again, this, is, this was the redemption of Madeline Pryor, uh, yeah. and... That was really good. You know, love Jean's line about having babies. Uh, yes. I fully support people That's having fine. babies. Um, they're not... What is it? He said that they were going extinct or something. Yeah, he's like... He, she was like, they're not going extinct. They're, they're having, having babies. babies. <laughs> so far, it's like ridiculously good. Like, let's just make that very clear. This was so much better than I was expecting. 
Like, I don't even know what I was expecting. I had like no expectations. I was like, this is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be like Wolverine the X-Men 2.0. And then it wasn't. And I'm like still in awe of that fact. Yeah. And yeah, like obviously not every episode was amazing, but yeah. obviously it's gonna have its issues. But yeah, like no show is perfect. Does. Yeah, it's like, trust me, I'm like a huge evolution fan, and that show is not perfect. <laughs> so final verdict on this first season, it was really good. We really liked it. It was good. Yes. A lot of blood. Boy. <laughs> uh and yeah, I just I'm excited to see how many seasons it gets, where it goes. Hope it stays this good, you know, and doesn't yeah. just like take a dramatic I mean, they started call. with time travel, so I don't know what that says. Uh, it's X Men. Uh. Time travel's <laughs> been in there. This, this has been the thing since 1983, all right? Days of Future Past came out in 1983. Well, this is 97 and came out right after X Men 92, so I guess that makes sense. Exactly. Just time travel's been an X Men thing for a very long time. Uh, the X Men kind of wrote the book on time travel. <laughs> uh, so it's, you know, it's whatever. And just like. Yeah, it's it's excellent, it's wild, it's crazy, it's wonderful, and we love it. And this show has made my little X-Men loving heart very happy. So thanks for that.